Well, it's a commercial many of us have heard. If you or a loved one have been impacted by toxic water at Camp Lejeune, you may be entitled to money. Well, now Salisbury attorney has been appointed by four federal judges to serve as co-lead on what could be one of the largest legal battles in American history. Well, Mona Lisa Wallace will be representing thousands of veterans filing claims against Camp Lejeune for contaminated cancer-causing water that families were exposed to for nearly 35 years. Queen City News Northeast Bureau Chief Sidney Heiberger spoke with her today about the next steps in this decades-long fight. A local news broadcast just like this one changed the course of Jerry Ensminger's life forever. They wanted to study these children for birth defects and childhood cancers, primarily leukemia. I dropped my plate of spaghetti on the living room floor. More than 14 years before, Jerry lost his daughter Janie to leukemia. She was just nine years old at the time. Janie was conceived and carried while Jerry was stationed at Camp Lejeune. Without exception, all the parents that I met during Janie's illness, the first question that came to their mind was why? Seeing that news report detailing troubling reports of water contamination at Camp Lejeune answered that question for Jerry. He's spent every day since fighting for justice and He's not the only one. We didn't hear anything about Camp Lejeune, knew nothing. Um, and then th that all changed uh, when I turned 39. And out of the blue, I was diagnosed with male breast cancer. Michael Partain says he was diagnosed with a rare cancer at a young age without any pre-existing conditions. He was also conceived and carried while his dad was stationed at Camp Lejeune and didn't learn about the contaminated water until his dad turned on the TV and saw Jerry testifying before Congress. Now, that was 16 years ago. And the crazy thing about it is when I had that conversation with Jerry, he had already been fighting this for 10 full years before I even got involved. For all those years, lawsuits brought against the Navy and the Department of Justice were dismissed. But last year, President Biden signed a law allowing Camp Lejeune veterans to bring claims against the government for possible compensation. Enter Salisbury attorney Mona Lisa Wallace, who was recently appointed co-lead of the litigation. So our firm alone has has more than, I'll say, 10,000 claims. It won't be an easy task. Wallace will have to prove that not only was each plaintiff exposed at Camp Lejeune, but that their exposure likely caused their illnesses. With the excitement and the honor and the privilege of, of being named to that position, I recognize what a great responsibility it is. A high stakes fight, human lives hanging in the balance. A significant number approximately 30 percent of our clients have already died. Veterans hoping it'll be worth the decades-long wait.